Today, since it's almost Valentine's Day, we're going to talk about relationships and your happiness. A recent survey of 2,000 Americans tackled everything about relationships from politics and careers to mental health and money, too. So now with more on the surprising results are Grant, Grant Langston. He's the CEO of eHarmony and Jean, Jeannie Asimos. She is the site's chief relationship <laughs> officer. Hey, guys, how's it going? <laughs> It's going Good. great. Good morning. Good morning to you. All right, let's talk about this happiness index. What did you guys find out? Well, the happiness index is a, is a survey that we've been doing, a research project uh, the last couple years, and it's meant to tell us, uh, check the temperature of American couples. Is people happy? Are they not happy? Why are they happy? I think we learned a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, but the basic message here is that people who are more similar in important ways have happier relationships. If you and your partner share the values that are most important to you, mm -hmm. and you have similar educational backgrounds, similar political affiliations, those kinds of things, you are more likely, far more likely to be happy than someone that you might be opposite of. Opposites do not work in long-term relationships. Whoa! So that's the first thing to know. Opposites so attract and then attack. There you go. You guys <laughs> just blew truth. that myth that opposites attract. But I like it. Um, and, and in terms of similarity and, and the findings, so the happiest couples, what you're saying is they have more things in common than their differences. That's exactly right. It isn't that you can't have some differences, yeah. but every difference you have in a big area is a compromise you've got to make over and over with that person. And that creates friction. And so, you know, in a four, five, six year relationship or even more, that friction starts to add up. And eventually, typically, one or both people just kind of say, I can't do this anymore. So the less friction you have, the more the relationship just kind of works together. So you said big areas. What are big areas? Are they religion, politics, money, sex? Well, you got some of them right there. You know, sex is super important. Yeah. Uh, politics has become more and more important. Ten years ago, nobody cared mm -hmm. about politics in relationships. I can tell you that for sure. And now it's very important. Um, but, you know, we look at other areas like ambition. If you yeah. and your partner have very different ideas of what's appropriate with ambition, there's a friction point. Uh, altruism, yeah. gender roles, energy level, energy level. Yeah. If you're high energy and your partner's low energy, there's a little, little friction. So there's about 30 of these things that we match on, and they really matter. Who's happier, men or women? Men. <laughs> Go figure. They're happier. We're men just report simpler. being happier. <laughs> men are happier. I don't know if that's because men are more clueless, really, about what's going yes. on, and they just think they're happier. But but they do say they're happier. Women are a little more complex. We're very complex. He's <laughs> very complex and a little less happy. Um, so it'll be interesting maybe next year to dig into why yeah. uh, that is. And guys, what about physical attractiveness? Because obviously we know this is important, maybe more so for men. Studies seem to indicate that. Mm -hmm. But we also know that as we age, physical attractiveness diminishes some. Right. Yes, yeah. it does. So we asked people what was most desirable to you and a partner, and across the board, the number one and two answers were, I want a partner who's happy, and I want a partner who is intelligent. Attractiveness came in, I think for men, number three, which, you know, I'm happy that happiness and intelligence outweighs uh, that for me or for them. Yeah. So that's awesome. What about yeah, and, and uh, stability was in there, emotional stability. Yeah. Uh, financial stability is, a, is something that women do still care about. Um, so, you know, if you're thinking about the long-term relationship, having a smart partner is a pretty good asset. Mm -hmm. And it's very encouraging that people recognize that. Yeah. And having a happy partner, you know, knowing that when you come home at night, that person is going to have a smile and and have a bring a, a light spirit to to the night that's that's worth a whole lot priceless yeah <laughs> what about what about sex guys because um, in a relationship especially new ones maybe people are going to indicate that that's more yeah. important but as as relationships grow and evolve your thoughts on that well I would say it doesn't it doesn't get less important mm -hmm. to be honest with you and it doesn't it doesn't get uh, to a place where people don't care uh, they want to be sexually 
uh, involved and they want the sex to be good. And in fact, people that have sex daily mm -hmm. are some of the happiest, the happiest. couples. But <laughs> quality times there too. So the cup. The couples That's who right. are having a lot of sex and value quality time are the happiest of any. So you gotta have both. All right, Jeannie, right. really quick. <laughs> no question. Be because I think a woman's perspective, anything surprising about the findings to you? I was surprised that when we asked the guys, 67% uh, of the men said when they were out there dating, they were really looking for something serious. That actually surprised me, because to me that was kind of counterintuitive. You always think, oh, guys are just like, eh, hey, cool, you know, casual's fun, whatever. But these guys uh, really want relationships, even if they don't say they do. Interesting. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Men right? just keep their cards close to the chest. You know, we, we want to be in a good relationship, too. I love it. It was great talking to you guys. I love the, the candor. And Aww. these findings, I think, are so great for us to know. Thank you so much. Happy Valentine's yes. Day to both yes. of you. Yes. You yes. too. Thanks so much. And here's the website to visit Thank for more information. It is eHarmony.com.